goal, you just go away. This rider goes away and that's not too much of a choice for us. Uh, that was me, the UK, UK diet. I got so fat after just a few, <laughs> few weeks there. Piece of milk all day every day. Uh, what actually is, is pretty true of UK is that uh, the shops here uh, tend to quite like putting uh, like sugar in things. That's so, kind of, but sugar even more so. Now, I'm not really blaming the shops for that or anything, but it just seems more available. You know, it's like you find some like random fast food uh, places more often, at least in my experience. I just uh, uh, screwing around and, and the shops. And of course, I guess the restaurants uh, put uh, make their products more addictive. But you can also find like proper stuff if you're looking for it. So I can't really complain. But most of what uh, what a supermarket has is just uh, stuff you probably shouldn't buy. Crips and chocolate. Crisps and chocolate. Everywhere. Pastries. The one food that Britain does well is sweet food. What has that witch and has done? so few vegetables. Yeah, that's kind of my theory is that... Uh, because... Wait. Because the... Because Britain is not as... Doesn't get as much sun as some other countries. That affects the maybe the popularity of the maybe not the vegetables, but probably the fruits. And it's and it's more healthy to get uh, sugar in form of fruits than it is from uh, just uh, hmm, them from cakes, for example. So maybe that kind of contributes to the popularity, but of course, like it's it's one thing, and you can that that just people really like. Actually, in some experiments, uh, when the rats were uh, exposed to cocaine and sugar, they chose sugar every time because you can get really addicted to sugar. That's how sugar works. You eat sugar, you want more sugar, you eat sugar, you want more sugar. That's how it works. And unless you break the link, break the chain of you eating sugar and wanting more sugar, you're just gonna keep doing it. I still eat some sugar, but I mostly like fruits. That, that's kind of what I'm doing. Hello, Adam. Do you miss Old Gwent a lot? If, if it was available, I, I think I would play it uh, from time to time. But of course, it would have the issue that, you know, nothing new would be happening. And that's a problem in itself. I think we might need to hold on to the Regai here. Because he has so many uh, value generators. He might have Yennefer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not locking that. You can damage an enemy by two. But it's my turn now. Maybe do that instead of uh, locking or whatnot. I hate that we have no Trissa modes anymore. Do you agree? Yeah. Like, what am I supposed to say? 
Imagine if I... If, imagine if uh, Gurnichora was streaming, not me. What would she say? What is that? So boring, no! I felt like we were a team with Triss. Also, I had like a connection to her. Maybe an unhealthy one. Because I remember her from the Witcher games. It was just like, it was like we were a team. And I was like, hell yeah! But now I'm like with... What? No! So I do miss her. Come back. Please. That's a big dude. Checking? Eat two. Let's do that. You want a choice cute as well? Well, I'm sure to pass that along that Tartar is interested. Wow. Maybe I can be the manager of her Tinder profile. And all of you can apply with me. I can be her pimp. New Gwent is not as smooth. No drag and drop with cards, but it's much better game. It's a good game. But I'm still looking forward to improvements to it. He has so many dudes. Holy crap. Okay, I guess do that. <clears throat> I like the old one, not playing Grant anymore. <laughs> Different, and def not, not that this is the problem with games changing over time. Because, but this is the problem with games in general. They must change to stay interesting. There's but if they change things that people about like about them, then it's a problem. Ah! And Gwen definitely took away features that I miss. And put in features that I don't like, but also put in features that I like. So... For example, I really like the, the closed beta spy archetype. That was amazing. Holy crap. That was something else. Like, whoa! What? More of that, please! But we didn't get more of that. Can we last out of you? I think it's just gonna win. Oh. This is tricky. Wait, how tricky is this? 
I can play the locker mate. Or a Garaya Vol. And he's good enough. But. Yeah. Beavis. Beavis is now. An 11. But if I play this. It's not good enough. It's only a 5. Doesn't take it. Actually this doesn't take it either. So I can only take it if I play a Weavis. Which I should do. I sense your pain. I see your and probably fear. push him round too. Okay. I guess we're going with that. Who's beat the consume? Yeah. That was pretty popular. Prevalent. You could just play your spies and he ate the spies. Yeah, that's not good. Not that. But I can't push him with this. But I think we need to play at least that. Like they laugh. Get him, boys. Oh, yeah, the one point drive. Minus one from Botchling. Oh, yeah, the three. So, what are we doing here? I think this is okay. I think we gotta force his hand a little bit here. So, this is probably the deck that plays a lot of ability units and you can lock them off. Seems like he's planning to go for some kind of zeal. Not sure on what though. So lock is important. He might have Gaunter. Those beat the spheres on Neckers. No. No. You had to remind me. Radovid Control was the highest peak of close beta. Ah. I like the spies. Spies were the best. So I love those guys. I think we might just pass here. Not much we can do. It's time. Oh yeah, one, one boost. Old PF5 with mushrooms was the peak. You know guys what I really miss? I miss Rolux units and the old weather. Oh my god, that was amazing. Remember the times when you could play... Play like a frost and the entire row went down to one point. That's insane. Maybe questionably balanced. But it was definitely insane. And I missed that power. You knew if, if if you knew he's playing on the melee row, you play Frost, easy peasy. Oh, well, that was a bit binary, but it was like so powerful. Way to shut him down. I like that. Okay, maybe do that. Old Frost was crazy. For the queen! This game needs some meal. Um, actually, I'm not sure if this game needs meal, but I didn't hate meal. I did didn't like the fact about that it it it, it made the games longer. That was not good. But the I don't know if I would really call it a strategy, but the fact that you remove cards from your opponent's deck possibly their hand 
I don't think that's a bad thing. Necessarily. Oh. I didn't hate that. I didn't like the fact that it uh, made the games longer. Male is the most delicious cancer. People really hated that. Do you guys remember the time when... Uh, I might be remembering it incorrectly and of course you have not seen it. But uh, there was a tournament where at least one player, I think Freddy, Freddy was playing Mill and uh, they had to redo the match because the game crashed maybe twice, but I might be remembering it at least once. It was it was so long. What I remember is that we were watching the same Mill game for an hour. So I think that was kind of a the turning point. Uh, for male. It was like, whoa, never that. Never that again. Holy crap. A lesson in humility coming now. Band slam. Still ruin people. Come on. <laughs> now are still with male. You evil man. That can be an 11. How can you sleep at night, John? Deal with old Bagney. But if they say that mill is not a thing, then... Wait. Then it kind of limit the, limits the design space. I'm not saying that mill definitely needs to be a thing, but I'm just saying that if they say that it can never be a thing, then that kind of limits what kind of cards they can do. Do I want this? Okay. I just locked that. We held up to the lock long enough. And he still has a better lock. Holy sh... Well, I still better target that I, I could have... Uh, should have locked. Okay. Let's see that. And if he kills the old spear tip, then I can actually eat the old spear tip, which is nice. Hmm. It's the archetype that makes people uninstall the game. Good to me. Ben Game King losing Grand Tourney final for multiple times. Razoron, what now? I actually just played the Thronebreaker and I'm... well... I don't really want to spoil it, but I suppose most of you are... are actually just... I finished it or maybe know nothing about it. But this guy just... fucking left me. He didn't want to be part of my team. Wait, what? But I just need the five. It doesn't matter. But we did it! Razoran! Holding on to the lock was the right call because we missed out on all the locks. Yeah. And apparently I, I still played it too soon because Ike would have been the ideal target. Anyway, that's it. Bye bye, Meave. G. Uh, I'll just kick that. We don't have a way to trigger this. Let's kick it. 
Uh, let's go with that. So when playing Thronebreaker, you sometimes you just uh, run into like one round uh, matches, and it just like feels totally fine. But when you're playing Gwent, it, when you're playing uh, round two, oftentimes what happens in round two, like basically two things happen, and never anything else. You either wanna pass, or you wanna you you have to not not want to definitely not want to because it's too risky. Or you have to, have to uh, somehow force your opponent uh, to play cards. Because his win condition is a bit cheesy and probably is holding parts of it. So, that's it. Nothing else. Most cases, if you can afford it, you simply want to just pass. Which is not exactly anything new. Sadly, I didn't say anything. The thing you don't like about New Grant is that there is no reward for being good. I don't know. I didn't really look into it that much. Can't say I was ever that. Driven by rewards. I don't know. I'm actually curious about this. What do you guys think? No door is close to me. Also extend the time to play games. This is a. Uh... What what? Porter always what games are designed to do? Uh, I don't agree. Well. You're right, but that, but increasing the match length doesn't necessarily increase the the play time of the players. Of course, increases the the individual uh, play time of the match. But let's just say you have like one long unsatisfying match, and you just like end up quitting because like fuck that. But instead, if you have like one good match, like. I don't know, like, let's just say 10 minutes or 7 minutes, and then you have another one, then you have another one, obviously, like, they need to focus on making it a good experience, and length is a, is a, like, needs extreme fine-tuning, actually. You might get something trash. But, if I know my luck, it's just gonna be one big guy. Um, play the Necker voice. Yeah, we're just gonna hold on to that. Round 2 always sucks, but round 1 is more important to play since hand limit. Oh, as, as then it encourages investment in the game, emotion and otherwise, which results in more players staying with it, etc. Uh, that's actually an interesting, very interesting topic that uh, kind of came up with well, kind of Dota. When I was playing Dota, and the, the good games, the good games feel great. Sometimes you can have like a long game that's awesome. But that was not always true. Sometimes you got good games that were not great or boring, and that felt terrible. So... I can't say I was terribly happy with that. That was the reason I ended up... Well, actually the main reason I ended up quitting Dota. Because like, what the hell? The bad games are terrible! Okay, let's pass. I actually had to uh, go back a little bit because I'm gonna 
falling behind with my chat. I never finished Thronebreaker. It was a good game, but not addictive. Not a great game. This is probably an unpopular opinion. Uh, I find it hard to... Uh, be fully into the puzzles. I think that's uh, not a great part. I'm not too into puzzles because the games usually include the process of you playing and figuring it out. For me, that's that's games. And if the game is more about you just sit at the fin start uh, just uh, start and you're just like, fuck, how do I solve it? And, and you don't really solve puzzles by by uh, brute forcing it. That's not how you're gonna do it. You just solve it by sitting and this thinking. And um, that's not necessarily very fun. I'm just gonna pass. Welcome there, 18 dude. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> we might have some way to burn it, but it, it currently looks pretty good. Chrome Breaker gameplay, not so fun. The story is uh, the draw, I guess. Um. I do enjoy uh, just role playing it. I don't. I think Meeb is just a big puss. I, I would like to be uh, more harsh to my subjects. Meeb is just a big softy. Unbelievable. I thought she was tough. Let's pass. Could hurt. New Grant, can play in tournaments. Uh, old Grant, uh, new, getting top 100 reward on you. I'm not sure about the new, new Grant system actually. But I didn't really like the, the way you got into tournaments with old Grant. So I wasn't a huge fan of that because it was stupidly grindy. But I suppose it was possible. Not sure. May need to look into uh, how New Gwen does it right now. I like the idea of it, but it wasn't terribly well executed. Does he have something else that I need to shut down? We obviously need to play Gurnachora. I didn't play other crones before. I can lock that. Does he have anything else that I might need to lock? I don't think so. I could be really punished with that, but let's just say no. Now, not even pro rank anymore. Yeah, comboing pro and normal rank was a mistake. I don't like it that much myself. Guess I'll agree. I should go with the awful werewolf. Hey Adam, good to see you. Uh, good to see you, Addy. Who is Want to have the motivation to get the top 100 again? But what would motivate you? That's a good question, I think. Because it needs to be something that... You said that you have full collection. So, you don't necessarily care about those kind of rewards. You might not even care about premiums, but I think you may care about that. You might care about some exclusive rewards, but uh, uh, other people might just say like, Wow, no, it really shouldn't be exclusive. I would like to have that as well. But, you know, they had some titles in the past. I'm not sure what would really motivate people. What would motivate me is having access to Triss. 
Please. Replacing my current leader. Imagine that. You could just have some neutral leaders like Triss. That would be awesome. Um, maybe we should have uh, actually hit the front. I'm playing more Hearthstone Gwent than Gwent, just because I can play more tourneys and win more. Hearthstone is like an okay game, but I really only played very casual. Why lock my dude? Why not lock the garniture of fruit at least? Oh, this guy's loud. I failed to recognize his genius. What is your plan, mate? Maybe just do damage. That's it. Okay. Then we're playing Vercat, Siliano Harpy, then Azrael. Okay. That could hurt. Didn't hurt me much. You're hyped for the March expansion? Oh, look at that! I would have lost. Even if he didn't lose a card. Aww. Now this would be the perfect time to taunt with Triss. Instead... I'm gonna tell him to hurry up. He doesn't even understand. I... Wait, what? Was Gurnichura doing a clap animation? Guys, this is crucial to the game, by the way. Don't tell me to like... I don't know, don't do this. I don't know, no, no, no. She was not clapping, whatever. Why is he not conceding? Alright, well, let's just pass. We won! GG. PM is most vital. Part of the game. GG. Wild boar. 